What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the latest rock device from Ulephone. The one that I have here today is called the Armor 15. Of course this phone is shockproof and also waterproof, but this phone has something that I haven't actually seen for any other smartphone before. Now, by now, of course, you've seen the video's title and you know exactly what I'm about uh, to say. So at the top here, we have two rubber flaps. And if you open those, you can take out the built-in wireless earbuds. As soon as you take them out, they connect to the phone and then you can put them in your ears. You can make phone calls, you can listen to music and uh, so on. Whenever you're done with them, you can put them back um, in the phone and they will charge from uh, the phone. So they're always going to be charged. And this so you don't have to carry like a charging case with you. You don't have to worry about losing those wires less earbuds because they're always um, inside your phone. So something very different compared to all the other rugged phones that I got to try up until now. The built-in wireless earbuds also sound pretty good, so they get fairly loud and have a lot of bass, but unfortunately they don't support active noise cancellation or a transparency mode. So pretty basic um, wireless earbuds, but as I said, they are inside the phone so you can access them pretty much anytime. Alright, starting with a bit of an unboxing, inside the box of course you're gonna find a user manual, so you also have a screen protector for um, the device, there is a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable and an 18 watt um, charge. Inside this phone we also have a 6600 milliamp hour battery. Now the phone is pretty heavy as well, so this phone weighs about 346 grams, so definitely not a light phone by any means. Charging the device from 0 to 100 with that charger that comes in the box takes about an hour and a half, so obviously not the fastest charging out there, but decent enough for a rug device in my opinion. They also sent me a case for it. Personally, I'm not gonna use a case like this, but there is um, also a case available for this device. The phone itself also looks a bit different than most other rugged phones out there. Most other rugged phones you can't really get in different colors. Well, with this one you can get some bright colors um, for the back. So the back here is made out of um, plastic. I have the blue one, as you can see. And at the bottom and at the top here, we have kind of like an imitation of carbon fiber, even though that's not what it is, but it does look a bit different than most other rugged phones. Now, something else that's different when compared to most other rugged phones out there is the fact that we have two speakers to this. With most rugged phones that I got to try, they typically have one speaker at the back. Well, this one has one speaker at the top and one speaker at the bottom here and the speakers are also facing you whenever you're holding the phone like this. And the speakers are also quite loud as well. So, as I said, a bit different when compared to most other rugged phones available on the market. The phone's frame is made out of a combination of metal, rubber and uh, plastic. Of course, the corners have more um, rubberized material, so if you'd be to drop the phone um, on a corner, nothing should happen to it, theoretically. On the left-hand side, we have the slot for the SIM card. The device can take two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time. We also have a customizable key, so you can basically have that key open any application that you want. And on the other side of the device, we have the volume buttons, the power button. The power button is also a fingerprint scanner, and as a fingerprint scanner, it does seem to work pretty good. It takes maybe half a second from the time you touch it for the phone to unlock. And just below that, we have another button that opens the camera app. Now, unfortunately, I find that button a bit annoying. Every time I pick up the phone, I actually open the camera. So every time I pick up the phone, I take the phone out of my pocket, I press that button by mistake. So I wish there would be a way to actually get rid of that button or the functionality or maybe customize it so you can have to hold it for like a longer period of time. Like this, every time you pick up the phone, you basically open the camera, which is not um, the greatest feature um, out there. Moving on to the bottom of the device, there we have the USB-C charging port and of course a rubber flap that covers that um, charging port. On the front here, of course, we have a selfie camera and we also have an LED notification light, something that we don't typically see with a lot of um, phones these days. Now on the back, I'm very happy that they haven't actually included any 2 megapixel macro cameras or any of that um, garbage that we typically see with a lot of um, rugged phones. So we have the main camera and an ultra wide camera. Now, you're not gonna buy a phone like this for the picture quality. I mean, sure, you can take decent looking pictures if you have plenty of light, 
but you typically don't buy a rugged phone for its cameras. It's just that now um, the rugged phone that I got to try has um, exceptional cameras. And of course, this is the case um, with this one. So yes, you can take pictures, but don't expect any mind blowing pictures from those cameras. And that was pretty much all there was good about um, this phone. Now the not so good parts um, about this phone. So on the front of the device here, of course, we have the screen. This is a 5.45 inches IPS screen that has a 720p resolution and the screen doesn't get that bright. Of course, if you're using the phone indoors, the screen looks okay, but if you take it outside, well, you can barely see the screen. So not so great for um, an outdoor phone, basically, because that's what they call this an outdoor um, device. Now, this phone is also powered by the MediaTek um, G35 that's paired with six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. The scores that you're gonna get on the Antutu benchmark are pretty low, but expected for that CPU. But um, with an Antutu score of about 130,000, you know that you're not looking at a fast phone by any means. So everything that you're gonna do on the phone, even though most applications work okay on it, everything takes a bit longer than normal. So when you open an app, you wait a couple of seconds, you give it a couple of seconds to scroll up and down. So, Definitely not the fastest phone out there and don't imagine for a second that you're gonna be able to play games like Call of Duty or PUBG on this device. I mean, you can still play certain games available in the Google Play Store, but not graphic intensive games. So not the fastest phone out there. There is also an NFC chip inside the phone and that means that you're gonna be able to make payments using Google Pay. For example, I tried the GPS unit inside it and it takes a couple of seconds to find your location. If you're outdoors, of course, it takes longer to find your location if you're indoors. And we also have a variety of sensors available. Now, because the phone is pretty inexpensive, it's kind of hard to criticize it um, when you take into consideration that price because we always have to take into consideration that price. But of course, I I would have loved to see a screen that has a higher resolution, maybe a somewhat um, bigger screen, maybe a brighter screen as well, and um, a more powerful CPU. But again, if we would have had those, the price of the device would have probably been higher. So for the price, I can't really say that this is a bad phone because it does have some pretty cool features like those built-in um, wireless earbuds. And I love these um, speakers that we have um, on the front here, something that we don't typically see with a lot of rugged phones. So even though this is not the fastest phone out there, it's hard to criticize it um, when you take into consideration um, the price. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.